Guys, today's sponsor is brought to you by privacy.com. See, here at the Keefe Crew, we love privacy and privacy. Now I can manage my shopping without knowing I'm giving my credit card information to just these rando sites. So click the link in the description below and get $5 off your next online purchase by using privacy. I am mighty key. Guys, I'm freaking out. This is legitimately too much for me. I can't take it. As you know, I said Broly from Dragon Ball Super is going to get me back into Dragon Ball Fighters. All right, that is my 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 re up back into into the world of, of Dragon Ball Z fighting games. I've always loved Dragon Ball Z as an anime. I've watched Dragon Ball Super, GT, Dragon Ball. I love it all. All right, but as for fighting games, I was never after like Budokai 3, I was never really a fan of Dragon Ball Z fighting games because the the battle arena style that Xenoverse has is kind of just I don't like it. It feels like I'm just pressing buttons. I hate. I know there's gonna be a lot of people hating me for that, but it feels like I'm just pressing buttons, whether I win or whether I lose in Xenoverse, and, and that hurts my my soul. And then when Fighters came along, obviously that's my favorite Dragon Ball Fighters fighting game to this date now. Uh, Dragon Ball Z fighting game to this date, but. In terms of of terms of like Dragon Ball Z games, I haven't really played much of them because they've all been mostly fighting games, right? I think, and I could be wrong. This is the first Dragon Ball Z RPG that we're getting to this extent. I think there was one for the 3DS, not the 3DS, for the might have just been the DS, but it wasn't to these levels of RPG is it? All right, and each day I've been looking at it, and each day I'm just getting more and more and more reasons to play this game. It already looks beautiful. So that was already reason number one. It, it's just, I, let's, let's, let's just look at it. All right, it's giving me an introduction. Himself, let's just look and through. The beloved story of right. Dragon Ball Z in this all new action RPG. Good God. This is the title As screen. Kakarot, or Goku. And it looks, it looks, all right, level five. So this is what I kind of wanted to see was like, what and RPG elements are we having? Is it small? Is it big? It is still kind of like that battle arena style that I don't really like, but um, if it's not just a fighting game and it's an actual like story driven RPG, like I said, I'm okay with that. But we'll see. Like we get to see Aider again. I mean, I'm about to cry, man. I'm about to cry. Time through unique sub quests so this and, and launch is gonna have a different okay we got nam the peddler goku interacts with characters he never met in the original dbz anime he met nam nam all right they call veterans will remember that he and goku only spoke in his younger days why would you so you say that's why i was like wait he definitely met nam before so you say he's never met him, but now you say he met him when he was an adult. Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go after IGN again. God, it looks so beautiful, man. This is what I'm saying. This is what I need. God in heaven, this is what I need. And this is another thing right here. Like this is, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is why I'm okay with this doing this battle arena style because it 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 seems like the bosses you go against are going to have different mechanics that they would in like i don't know a different xenoverse or something game like what raditz just did because this isn't like a fighting game they don't have to balance it towards everybody being fair they can be like okay we're gonna make the bosses have mechanics that are true to them which would kind of not be fair you know what i mean if it was a actual 1v1 battle so for them to be able to implement stuff like that bro i'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry. Is hard to convey in a at, at level five, you got like 9,000 health, though. I need to figure out what these numbers are looking like. You know, man, this is gonna be kind of crazy. What I would really like is a Dragon Ball Z Dynasty Warrior style game. <laughs> I'll shut up, though. Oh my god. So it's not open world, but the maps are just huge. Kind of like Outer Worlds. I hope this is a game where you can just endlessly grind. I mean, just play the game, level up and level up and get stronger. Just like in Dragon Ball Z, how, how Dragon Ball Z is as an anime. Because, like, if you had told me you could just fight bo uh, Bobbity Troopers, right? Why didn't you just lead with that? Why didn't you just go ahead and say, by the way, you know, I know there were no, there were no Bobbity Troopers in Dragon Ball Z. 
right? There was only only Spopovich and that other guy. I forgot his name. You know, the guys who were with Videl or beat up Videl. And, you know what I mean? They should have let my Gohan do his thing and, and defend his, his girl. But, you know, they had to hold him back. But I ain't even going. I'm not even going to go into that right now. But if they if they have it where you can just feel really, pro like, that progression, I'm going to love this game. And, and the button mashing or whatever, like I said with Xenoverse, that's a that's a... That's a 1v1. That's like a, a fighting game. All right. In games like single player games, I'll do the. It's fine. You know, as long as the gameplay is fun or, or the cinematics for it is rewarding enough. Like in God of War, that's pretty button mashy, right? But the, the cinematics for it is, is rewarding. You're like, oh, I feel powerful. I did it. You know, just like in uh, the Dynasty Warriors games. You know, you're kind of just pressing buttons, but it it's a cinematic orgasm right when you when you do everything when you do your supers and this if this game is like that i'm okay with the whole one button attack stuff right i can't do that in fighting games though i don't like one button attacks in fighting games and that was my point but guys like i said with the progression system look we got at goku at level what five right had nine thousand health at 63 vegeta has over three hundred and forty thousand health that means that tells me it's going to have that that beautiful big numbered big progression feeling uh, uh uh system going on with it that's the stuff i like it's it's very um it's very not shallow but i guess it's a it's just aesthetic wise superficial right because th those are the games i enjoy like diablo 3 right you go in there you create broken builds you do trillions of damage to 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 character or to the mobs and dungeons and stuff and it just you just come out feeling good and rewarded and that's what i like and i'm hoping this game is somewhat like that borderlands 3 is also like well uh, borderlands 2 and 3 are also like that hold the phone because y'all not about to play me like this because i saw this scene with goku and gohan and for them to fish they took out a tail i shit you not they took out a tail from their pocket as if it, and just screwed it on like it was a light bulb, right? And then they picked up the fish that way. Y'all gonna give those two Saiyans, one's a half-breed, a tail, but you're not gonna give my mans the prince of all Saiyans a tail? Come on, man. I might have to throw this microphone. Look, I'm that's just me nitpicking though. I'm not gonna That's neither here or there. Now you know damn well Vegeta would have killed all these people by now. Especially in his evil form. Well, look at that run speed. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be fun just flying around. Running around and flying around uh, in the in the city or anything. Cause like, in Spider-Man, just, just swinging around New York was a blast. Like, I enjoyed that. Sometimes no, I didn't even, I'd just swing around for like five minutes, not even do missions. That was fun. If I can feel like that while flying. Oh, hold on. This is where you get all the stat boosts. Oh yeah, this is, this is definitely. That's some good RPG elements in it. I wonder if you can do anything that gets you like max, um, max permanent stat boost, not just for like two, three minutes. I thought that Majin Vegeta was going to be it. Nope. They really put this in the game. They really put it in the game. What is it? It ain't no meteor. Oh, we can hear the English voices too? Look at this. Oh my god. Farmer with the shotgun! They have him. This is this is so dope. Like this is this is so dope. That mean that tells me that they are putting a lot of detail in this game. A Just lot. As I thought the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? Oh man. Hey, bring my man's back, all right? Bring my man's back. Level of only five? Ain't nothing wrong with that, cut. We humans trash. chill. That's not even right. Stay back. That man feeds his family. He does right by his family. You know, he pays his taxes. You can't just call him trash like that. And then you kill him. You know what? I'm glad you dead. That's why you ain't even <laughs> in the rest the of Dragon Ball Z. Can well, now. That's about the end of it, I believe. Guys, uh, this game is going to be amazing. Um, I have no idea how long this went on for. I probably ranted 
for so long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this weekend. Hope you guys are having a good Halloween. I just wanted to make a video about it. Because my, my hype levels... When my hype levels exceed a certain threshold for something that I, I have to make a video of it. No matter what it is. Even if it's not even gaming related. I have to make a video. Obviously... This is gaming related, but it, my th my hype level reaches a certain threshold. I just have to express it, and I I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys are getting this video, let me know. You know, if you, if when I get the video, you want me to do some videos on it, let me know. Cause you know, um, as of right now, I was kind of just kind of play the game. But if you guys want to see me play the game or make some form of content for this game, y'all let me know. Hit a like on this. Uh, you know, what I'm saying, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Another huge thanks to privacy.com for sponsoring this video. I mean, guys, what, what what do you guys watch? I got, you know, Amazon Prime. I watch Hulu. I watch Netflix, Crunchyroll. And if you guys are rational human beings like me, you probably do the same. Now, managing all those subscriptions can become a hassle. Y'all know that. Privacy.com is a free virtual card that allows you to kind of just create a virtual spending limit. Privacy organizes all those subscriptions and makes sure you don't get charged any more than you should. And it has a Chrome extension with just a few clicks. You can go ahead and create your own virtual card. Privacy.com slash Keith Crew to get $5 off your next purchase online. That's Nintendo Online paying for itself. You guys got this. Peace. Boy, that's just crazy.